what are we going to get into today? Well, today is Moonshine Wednesday, so we're going to get into some moonshine. Uh, today's selection is lemon cream moonshine. I read this recipe and I said, I got to make that. That just sounds fantastic to me. Okay, and like I always, it's so easy. It's so easy and it's a good drink. But first things first, welcome to Still Works and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Okay, and like I will always do, I'll put the ingredient down in the description box. So if you want to make it yourself. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is in the pot, we want one and a half cups of water. So we want one and about a half. I'll just eyeball that. One and a half cups of water. Alright, the next thing we want is one cup of sugar. Now, like always, you can make add more or less of the sugar, depending on your taste, but in this recipe it's going to be uh, one cup of sugar. One cup. Okay, so what, what do we want next? Uh, lemon juice. So, we want four tablespoons of lemon juice. Uh, one, two, three, and four. I'll put a little extra because I like the lemon flavor. Okay, next we want two tablespoons of your um, powdered your cream, powdered coffee creamer. I guess you could use the, the non-dairy, but this is our recipe. I'm particularly going to use the uh, French vanilla because I just thought that would add a, a lot nice taste, a nice taste to it. But you can use the recipe calls for just regular old coffee creamer. And how much did we want? We wanted two tablespoons. So there's one and two. And a little extra. Okay, don't put your shine in yet. So what we want to do is we want to put a little heat on this. Alright, and stir it. And we want to melt all that sugar and the coffee creamer into and it will get I wouldn't say clear because of the coffee creamer, but uh We've got a good lemon smell to it. Alright, so let me let this heat up and I'm going to have to simmer for three minutes and then we got to let it cool. Okay. It's pretty cool. It's cool to touch anyway. Okay, according to my recipe, it's saying add one, one cup of 140 shine. This is 100 shine, so I'm going to go with two cups. So I'm going to go with two cups. But like I said before on a lot of things, it depends on what you like, your taste. So uh, it's, it's all in what you want to do. Well, it looks good. Give that a quick stir. And we are going to put it into our jars. There's one and a little piece. Okay. I mean, it looks creamy. 
Now, I would be willing to bet, just from past experience, once you put this in the refrigerator, it will probably tend to separate the creamer from, you know, this powdered creamer from the rest of it. Hey, but just give it a good shake and then enjoy, you know. Let's give it a try. Wow! Oh, oh that is, it's creamy. And, and, and lemon juice just loves to smack your mouth. That is fantastic. Yeah, see that right there? It's wanting to separate a little bit. But hey, you just give it a quick shake and it's good to go. That is very enjoyable. You make that for your party, it ain't going to stick around. I can guarantee you. But, uh... It is fantastic tasting. Hey, I guess the last thing I got to say is, well, I got two things to say. Happy Moonshine Men <laughs> Happy Moonshine Wednesday. Hey, and thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works from Brewing. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. That's good. That is good, good.